And this is going to be added to the collection. I'm going to give it to y'all here because I feel like yeah, every every single unboxing we've done in this channel so far has been sneakers. has been easy. Easy, 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 easy. Just jumped over. Jump, man. That's all we've been doing. Just easy. I love Yeezy. As y'all can tell, that's my guy. Kanye Yeezy's my dude. The Yeezy's on my feet. Fly. It's my guy, man. I've been a Kanye head my whole life. Today we unboxing something. Today we unboxing something. And like I told y'all before, I don't give up. Fudge about the description. So y'all might know what's in here, but I'm still gonna be like, it's a surprise. So what could it be? Oh, what could it be? Let's see. Let's see what we got today. What do we have in her? It's a big ass box. That's the first thing I noticed, god damn. Also, if y'all notice, sometimes the boxes are cut previously. I almost cut my fingers in like four episodes trying to talk to y'all and cut boxes with the tactical, tactical knife. That knife sharp as hell. I almost took a finger off twice. I was like, you know what? I'm after. So we'll probably bring a tactical out eventually, but for now, till I know how to act, we cutting these bitches before before I take my finger off. Yeah, all right, it's, it's the right sneaker. It says here, it's just a big ass box. I'm saying, like, damn. This is the same size box, arguably, roughly. I haven't measured it, obviously. I'm looking at it right now, but it reminds me of the Easy Quantums, Easy 500 Highs, th that kind of box, so you can get an idea. So here we have the Alexander Wang's collab with Adidas, the Air Puff Trainers, I believe. Yep, Air Puff Trainers. What color? Let's see. Oh, that's fire. These are actually my first pair of Alexander Wang's and Adidas. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Inside of the box so far. To me, I feel like it's a reverse. I don't know if this is like the old, the old shell top box, but. I feel like the white should be in the inside, but I'm pretty sure that's probably on purpose, that whole flip. I'll see if it says something. Yeah, all right, so let's get into it. What do we have? We first have the dust bag. Let me show y'all first. See, I'm over here, man. All right, let's look at it together now. Oh, that's tough. Alexander Wang, it reminds me of the Kappa logo, you know, like the Kappa with the two girls back to back. Adidas Pro Form Advanced Workout, that's dope. Definitely use this for the gym or something, that's dope, I like that. Little dust bag, that's fly. Hey, okay, okay. I'm a little excited to see what's in here. Let's see the shoe. Okay. Okay. Somebody brought the cast out. Okay. Now I see why the box is so big. You some big ass shoes. And I'm only a size 10. Alright, let's break these down. These look very interesting. Alexander Wang Air Puffs and these were the white is that navy blue? Oh no, white, black, and green. Yeah, these were the black ones. Oh, this is dope. I'm trying to I just like the sound. I'm trying to see if there's any actual, yeah, just black. And they use acronyms for everything, so I can't tell you the actual green on the shoe, but it says black and the white. This is dope, okay. Oh my gosh, shout out to Stock X for the pickup. I'm actually gonna look at this shoe just cause that little Stock X tag in the back annoys me from time to time. Okay, okay, so what do we have? Oh, that's dope. The first thing that I noticed is the Adidas logo is upside down and the Alexander Wang is with sick mouth. So you can see that right there. Adidas upside down, Alexander Wang. 
I also noticed the first thing you see when you pull out the box is the big Alexander Wang in the front of the shoe. Does that even move? This shit might just be for design. I don't even know if that really tightens or not. But it has like the little pulley thing in the back. I don't think it moves though, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think it does. No laces on the shoe, so actually it must move because that's how you have to tire, like tighten the shoe, I'm guessing. If like the shoe's too loose or if you wanna loosen it up, tighten it up. That's dope. I really like this. What's this sole looking like? I can't pull it out of these. So it's just Alexander Wang and Adidas going through. That's gonna be really hard to see, but I'm not sure if you can see that in the bottom. And then the bottom of the shoe is white as well, with a little gum on the back. I don't know if you can tell, but it has the Adidas logo with the Alexander Wang right next to it as well. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I didn't notice that until I looked inside right now. So outside, logos flipped upside down with the Alexander Wang the right way. In the inside, if you come and look at the shoe this way, the Adidas is the right way and Alexander Wang up here is flipped the wrong way. But if you look at it this way, it's the right way. Yo, that's dope. And then we have the F19 AAW. I'm guessing F19, these shoes dropped I want to say fall 19, November 2019, I want to say. I believe November 2019. So that's where the F19 comes from. Um, again, I'm not 100% correct. I'm just stating what I believe is the obvious, but I can obviously be wrong. I love the accent of the little blue. So I don't know if you could tell, but the little tabs that hold down the laces, the little scrunchy things, or all like that royal blue, which throws, which adds a cool little like eye pop. You got the white, you got the black, got the black, and then you also have the green here, but the little blues stick out and I love them. They're even in the inside of the shoe. That's really dope. Yo, I really like this shoe. This shoe reminds me of Miami. Like I'm in Miami right now, just walking around. I'm in LA right now. They're mad white though. So these shoes, you gotta be careful what terrain you wear it on and definitely what day you got these on and it starts raining or you got, well, at least the front is, you can tell it's good leather. So the shoe's leather in the front, not suede, but still like, these are so white that the laces are white, the leather's white, the rubber in the bottom of the sole's white, front shoe's white. They're dope, don't get me wrong, fire. I really, really like them. But you gotta be careful where you wear these to. You definitely gotta be careful. This is something you gotta drop me off in the front of the, of the place. I can't even walk too far in these. They're dope. Oh, I didn't even notice that. All right, so I might be wrong earlier with that. Night F19 met Fall 19. Cause down here, again, he did it in white, but there's like a little stamp press. I can read it to you from this one. It says AW003S18. Don't know what that means now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look that up, look online, see what those little things mean in the inside. I'm not too sure. And then up here it says F19AAW. I know the A is for Adidas and the AW is for Alexander Wang. That's obvious. But what's the F19 and what is the S18? I was about to say, no, nah, these shits might have came out spring 2018. Yeah, that's correct. No. <laughs> and I love this little weird, like, I don't know if you can see the, the pattern on that in the back, but it definitely gives it a cool look. Yo, these are shoes that if you're walking down the block, I can see somebody looking like, yo, wait, what, what are those? Definitely dope. And again, Adidas logo again flipped on the top. I love that little flipped Adidas logo. You can't see it the best on this one due to the lace placing. But if you can tell, hold on, just cause. Or if you can see that little Adidas logo flipped. Yo, these shoes are dope. Again, first pair of Alexander Wangs. I was looking online, you know what these remind me a lot of? The Mason Margellas, I don't know if you remember that, so I was talking to my girl on 
long story short, not a big designer, sneaker fan, or none of those. I just hate how they just take so many silhouettes that I know. Like the Chuck silhouette is killed in the designer world. The Van silhouette is killed in the designer world. The Air Force One silhouette is killed in the designer world. Them old science teachers, the Gucci, you know what I'm talking about, the Gucci that always got the big ass picture on the side. I'm telling you, those without the Gucci shit on it, those are the ones that our science teachers used to wear. But this is more my drip. When their world comes and meets our world and it collabs now with the street where I love, like them air, uh, I don't want to say I love the Air 1 Jordan Dior's, because I do love them, they're fire, the colorway was fire, the way that the Dior was inside the Nike sign, fire, but it's just such a shoe that's just so basic to say that, that you love it, but yeah, that shoe, that shoe is crazy. But yeah, this shoe right here reminds me of the Mason Margellas. Mason Margellas had a kid with the, what was it, what's the Kanye West? The, the, um, I was about to say the Louis Vuitton Jaspers, 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 and had a kid that didn't meet up today, you know, you know, like that, that you know, that, there's always the rich people, we got them, that one kid's like, yo, I don't really gotta work, I don't really gotta do shit, my parents are fire, I'm good, I'm good where I'm at, I could just live off of them, like, these shits is definitely nowhere near at all, neither one of those shoes, but they, they give me little, see little glimpses of both in them, but they're dope, I, I really can't wait to wear these, but these look like I definitely won't be wearing them anytime soon, like, where am I going? These, these shits is tough though. Yeah, so the Alexander Wang Air Puffs Trainer. What's the official tissue name? They say EG4901. So yeah, um, white, black, and green. That's what you gotta know. That's what it says on the, on the color breakdown too. The green's a weird color. I ain't even gonna try to pronounce that shit. It's green. You could see it. I could see it. We could all see it. It's green. I like the lacing in the front too as well. Not keeping it with like the actual traditional laces. Lacing in and out. Pull this. If I do wear these ever, I'm really curious to see how that fits. What's the comfortability? What's actually like the... Actually, no, yeah. Due to it being a sock, you don't even gotta worry about your foot falling out or slipping out. I'm pretty sure it'll be really tight in here. I got these in a size 10. I usually always get, when a designer collabs or like Yeezy or something like that, I always get them a half size bigger because they run small. I'm a 10, but I hope that these fit me good. They're really dope. Can't wait to see if I wear them. If I flip them, still not sure right now as I'm looking at them. Like, I like them a lot. That's not what I'm not sure about. It's just the colorway. It's just so fucking white. The materials feels amazing, though. This feels so soft there, this right here. That little thing that goes right around feels really good. The leather feels, I haven't felt leather this good on a shoe in a while. The leather feels really good on this shoe. And then the back's like a, a new buck, it's a little suede on the top. And this is like a little, you know, I feel like the, this literally feels like they took the idea of, you know when you're wearing a hoodie, the scrunch right around your wrists and your waist, exactly what it feels like. If I put my hand inside, it feels like I got my hand inside of a sweater. That's literally what it feels like. like right there it's dope though it's a nice shoe i wonder what you guys think did you guys see anyone wearing these yet the uh, air Puffs trainers seen anybody wearing the alexander wangs out in public what do you think about them would you wear a pair of these it's a really different shoe to look at as well even talk about the lacing in the front it's really different it's definitely eye-catching this is something that if i see somebody wearing i'm gonna stop to look at keep moving stop to look at it again Definitely one of those shoes. And it's a colorway that you could literally wear with anything. I could wear this with the shirt I'm wearing right now. I wouldn't, but you, I could. Dope, dope. I want you guys to comment below. Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are they aight, but you wouldn't rock them? Did you see the other colorway that came out? Which one did you like more? Did you like this colorway more? I know there's a black colorway as well. It's like silver and black. Did you like the silver and black more? This colorway is the most hyped colorway out of the whole drop. So this one is the one flipping for the most. But personally, what did you like? Let's not think about flip. Let's not think about that. Which one did you like the most? Was it this? Was it that? Or was it neither? And if it was neither, still comment below and explain why you didn't like them. What did you not like about them? And if you liked them, what did you like about them? See me, I'm a weird dude, as I told you guys in previous videos. So I like shit like this. Like this is this is fire to me. I can see me wearing this around LA. Just wearing, just dressing around cool, calm, and collective. I just see myself in a hot place. I can't be somewhere chilly wearing this. 
But we'll see where I pull them out for. We'll see where I pull them out if I do or if I just flip. If you're interested, make sure you make a comment below. Let me know. Size 10. I just like the sound. Yo, these are dope. What do you guys think? Also, got the dust bag. Don't forget. This is a little setup you get with it. So what do you guys think? Was it worth it? Was it not worth it? Would you guys drop it? Would you guys pay for it or not? Let me know. Comment below. We out.